Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. I'm your host, David Pow, and let's get back on this adventure. Let me make sure I can't do nothing. Okay, nothing can be nothing can be done over there. So, let's head over here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Come over here. Yep. Yeah, that's the stuff. Really? R really? Of course it would. So it looks like I gotta find a different route. So one thing I I kind of forgot was that SP gauge. So every time it's your turn, the SP gauge drop that a, a number drops from that SP. And let me see if defend actually. Oh, nope, defend actually does nothing for it, so I I don't know too much on like SP management and all that kind of stuff. But I I am I imagine you you would definitely have to find some way to like increase it or whatever. And I'm not exactly too sure what happens when it comes to zero, because, I mean, these fights don't exactly last too long. And I haven't really played this game all too much. All right. God damn it. I failed that. Let's go on to try number two. I, I I think it will work this time. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Awesome. The sluice gate. Okay, so that should allow me to continue on my merry way. No, nah, no. Nah, all right. So that stops that water there, and I wonder on that chest that's up there. Cause I like I like to collect everything that I I visually see. No man, we we there there ain't no there ain't no breaks. Oh my, I guess we're taking a rest, but we we kind of like us playing. We kind of already took a break, so. Yeah, she does. He, he he seems a little rapey at the moment. I It's like, "Nah, don't call me father, just call me daddy." Um because the voices in your head tell you to. You know, brother. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe you won't be eerie music. This. Well then, people just. I I like, I like how I can see these sprites. In this little scene right here, but that previous scene, there was nothing there. Really. Really now. Oh, well then. Shut up, Dad! Um. I, I, I guess. The dark is. Really? Well then, that's, um, that's something. That's uh that's interesting. We're we're fighting the monsters that he's already killed before. Well, let's go. Let's go. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up, old man. Oh, oh, I see. I see. We both got a similar fighting style. SP lowering you. Wow, really? Come at me. Come at me. 
Bam! Yep, yep, yep. Take that. Take that, daddy. Ow! You know what? Oh, I don't have enough SP. That douche nozzle. I, I let's let's see how he deals with this. Ooh. Uh. Mm. Well, well, this this fight's going places. This, this fight is definitely going places. Is this God? Whatever. Let's 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 trudge on. Let's trudge on. We we got this. Don't don't worry. We got this. With one HP left, we got this. We got this. Oh oh. So now you get to. I don't. We we've already seen this before, guy. We we've already seen Death Emperor. Ow. Oh. That would, that would be hilarious. Game over. That would have been hilarious. Be like, well, um, yeah. So he just sent me to a graveyard. The graveyard I, I was thinking about in the last part that we weren't near, but we kind of still were near. <laughs> um, he's somewhere. He, he, he. No. Cause you couldn't, you couldn't beat him up. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Fred. You couldn't beat up your dad. Yep, the graveyard from yo dreams. Gotta, gotta like that music though. Gotta like, gotta like the, the. Damn. <laughs> Oh, he thought he was gonna get a kiss saving her. How cute! Okay, since there's a light over here. Caroline. Um. <coughs> yep. Yep. You said it would be creepy, and this is what you get, but I think. Raging Taiga. All right, time to time to fuse up here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Um, ugh, that didn't leave much. Um, fuck it. We're just going to attack. Oh, I had no confidence in that. But the damage was good. The damage was really good. Oh, oh I'm about to sap all that health you just gave yourself. I mean, you bought yourself a little time. You, like, basically negated that... Chi shield. Um, what defense? I, I know this is raising up defense. Is it physical or special? You know what? In response, I'm gonna do this to ya. Oh, we were so close to getting a perfect, but you know what? Yeah! Yeah! Come at me, bro! Come at me! There was nothing to it. Got Fusion Soul, the soul of Raging Tiger. Woohoo! Yep. Oh my god, so awful. But oh, a violent impulse. Yep. The soul. Yes, it is your power. If you can equip a soul that you ever yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to do I know it's not through Oh, okay. Oh okay, so when he fuses with that that increases all of those stats. 
Lesser spirit of darkness, symbol of loathing. Lesser earth spirit, symbol of fury. So it, you know, it's it's got its benefits and its um shortcomings. Wait, what? Change strongest soul equipped items. I really don't got much. Um, there seems to be people up here. That door. So I was you guys pulling the strings all along. The detestable young harmonixer that who damned us to eternal hell. Well, that's your fault for coming at me. You you, you wanted to come after me. I really haven't. Nope. No, he doesn't miss you guys. Your pathetic bravado can't hide your fear. <laughs> These are like the masks from Majora's Mask. Your mind may not comprehend. Of your own mind's. Well then, you know, live it in a dark world where you're constantly being hunted and killing demons and shit. Yeah, your your mind, your inner self will kind of get dark, especially when you fuse with dark souls. More you show, Benham. Okay, so what this is? Is that his dad? Yeah. I wanna. I want to know what happened to his dad. I hope we find out. That'd actually be... S That'd actually make me... That. So, basically, what they're introducing now is this thing called Malice. And as you get into random encounters, your Malice builds up. And if you don't... If you don't go into the graveyard and quell that malice, I, if I remember correctly, you get in an unwinnable battle against your dad. And this time, this time, you know, fighting, fighting, fighting daddy dearest. I want to fuse into Raging Tiger this time, but uh, this time daddy dearest, you weren't supposed to win a fight against him. But I think any other time you will lose no matter what evil four so let's go here okay okay that that was that was anticlimactic that was anticlimactic item fair relief that's that's nice healing items are always beautiful That's looks like the vengeance of our brethren. Yep. So yeah, it was basically this purification is only temporary. So yeah, the whole malice thing. I definitely remember malice in this game. Yeah. So you gotta go back and forth. It, it's it's kind of a neat little thing, you know. I I kind of like it. You know, it definitely beats, so if you guys know Breath of Fire, I want to say it was Breath of Fire 4, which was Dragon Quarter. If not, it was Breath of Fire 5. And it had this little meter once you got to a, a certain spot that, like, pretty much every, every time you did something was when it would... Um, it would increase the percentage and there was no way to decrease it which was absolute bs so if if you got it up to 100 percent it was an instant game over so without that being explained to you at all it throughout the entire game i was using the fuck out of that the little dragon form thing that your guy got and Oh my god, like, I ended up having to use a game shark for unlimited of that because I didn't feel like restarting the game at all. 
but it, it's a it's a nice little game. I might I might actually do a, a play of that, just cause there's a lot to it, and I kind of know now, and it it somewhat takes away from the whole grinding in the game, cause you can't necessarily do that. So how do I get up over there? Is what I want to know. Huh. Maybe. See. Oh, I didn't notice that chest down there at first. So we'll go. We'll have to take care of these little, these little bastards. Um, I don't like the idea of getting venom. So you you get the get up out of here. Um, you can't really do much. So I'm gonna just defend with you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you couldn't poison me. That's what you get. That's what you get. Yep. Um, you defend again. I'm I'm glad these things didn't come. So hopefully, hopefully as there, well, there's got to be a way to increase SP later on or in, in battle, which we might eventually figure out. I, I don't know what it is for now, like I said, so we're just going to go through. Good, because her HP is extremely low, but you know, soul energy. Okay, so I guess... Depending on the elements of mobs you kill, you get that, and that allows you to upgrade your souls or something like that. But I, I'm I'm trying to find out how to get that chest. I'm not deliberately trying to get into these random encounters, but I think you can power up your your souls that way. It. I, I started this game like the village where we're going to now like the location we're actually going to or going to go to next that was the farthest I got I think I was oh yeah that was the farthest I got and I think I did OCD training there or leveling there we got Yep, they give me wind. So if I, c so wind, dark, and earth. <coughs> um. Okay, okay. Enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that wasting time. Yeah. I mean, I I don't mind the random battles, and I do have kind of a little bit to talk about through them, and they don't last particularly too long. I know I might later on like in the next episodes and stuff I might actually um, skip them like just edit them out well then you still died what what okay ooh eh, three damage good but um yeah so I really only seen the very beginning of this game once I get to that village after that and this was god this had to have been at least close to 10 years ago yeah it was a long time ago when i last played this game so everything i'm kind of talking about i is what i just remember like from that which is still a good bit so that's, I think that's, yeah, that's the town. I still want to, I still want to get that chest. Ooh. Well. Yeah. Guardian of Purgatory. Maneater's troop waits you. Well, that pretty much tells me that there are a bunch of man-eaters in there. Huh. Yeah, what about it? Oh, God! I didn't even know he was going to say that. That's awesome. Wait, what? 
But, you know, it doesn't horribly hurt her. So you don't fuck me, right? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, Fred. Yeah. Well, that was the, the point. Motherfucker. I'm... No, what do you, what do you, stop moving. Stop your, stop your incessant thinking that you can do what I don't want you to do. <coughs> God, I can't wait to get over this cough. It's, it's like all day and night I'm dealing with it. <coughs> Man. Jeez. I'm surprised I haven't lost my voice from it yet. I mean, I kind of have, but I kind of haven't. Oh, good. These guys didn't even get a single, a single attack in. But, um... That's, that's good, that's good. I like, I like, I like the wind in the dark. Energy, so... Since that chest is right there... Holy Mother Bust... Here's confusion. So I'm going to go and try and see if I can get that chest and I will be right back. Alright, so I finally found my way to the chest, which was super fucking obvious. So give her the leather belt. Oh no, she does not need the leather belt. We need to give it to him, because he can actually use it. So, two, two additional attack. I thought it was going to be some sort of, like, defensive item. So, let's... Well, let's get on... Um, yeah. So, time to head over to the, to the village. I actually had to look up a guide to find out, because I was stumped, and I didn't want to waste too much time and do too much grinding and all that, but... Yeah, as as we level up the SP, the SP does increase. And I kind of read up on the SP to, so I could give a little more info about it. So that's sanity points, which is, you know, created from like the um from the um the stress of battle and the evil energies from it and this that and the other. And if it drops to zero, your character goes berserk. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, so both level five. The wind, the wind's actually really close to to going up. So that's uh, that's definitely something I wouldn't mind investing in. All right, let's let's get into this this village. The voice in my head is telling me that this village is full of man-eaters. So, it doesn't want me to trust anyone in there, but you know what? To, to, to hell with, aw, to hell with the, the voice. Oh, crap. She is not the person I wanted to attack with, but okay. Whatever. Maybe, maybe the leather belt would have been good on her. But, ooh, long drawn out battle. She's not gonna last very long. So it seems that after. <coughs> <coughs> after so often, they'll eventually increase in SP. So hopefully. Yep. Man, kill, kill 10 more wolves dog things and I'll be able to level up my earth listen to that good old-fashioned old music yeah Okay. Yay, happy. Happy people. Happy people. Happy times.
Well, he's pretty, he's pretty mean. Yep. Red eyed and yellow eyed child. <coughs> Man, he's got no patience. Wow. Whoa, nice and soft, huh? They just don't care for what he has to say. They they see Man eaters that <laughs> Come on, come on. What the voice said. So they're going to let me into the village because she is nice and juicy and tender. Okay, you can come inside. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Red flags, red flags everywhere. And you know what? Whatever. They want a place to sleep. This isn't. Oh, yep. And you know, gates closing by themselves. That, is that's unnatural. Um, I actually got to see if I can find a save point now. It's the only thing that's an. Okay, there we go. So. That's all the time I have for this episode. If you enjoyed watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!